Hi, I'm Addison Lawrenson, and I'm applying to the Forrester Venture Fellows. All right, so when you think of the business world, it's often thought of kind of as crooked, selfish companies that want to benefit themselves or make as much money as they can. Um, but on the other hand, when you think of Christian religion, it's selfless people who put themselves second, and they look to serve God through their out their entire lives. These two things sound drastically different, which was why it was kind of hard for me to figure out how these two could go together and create a career. But as a Christian entrepreneur, you have to change the way people look at the business world and the entrepreneurship world. Um, and that's why I see this Christian entrepreneurship, this career path as such a unique and influential um, way to go about life. The two most important traits a Christian entrepreneur should embody is, I believe, uh, integrity, which goes along with like honesty and also bringing glory to God while you're also being a faithful servant to him. You must love your God more than the profits you would make in this career. And I feel like if you're being a servant and you're um, bringing glory to God with honesty and integrity, that your love for God will be more than what you make. In the book of Matthew, there was this young rich ruler who claimed that he was perfect. He followed all the Ten Commandments. He um, believed he had done everything right to be a good Christian. But he was still turned away by Christ um, because he loved his possessions more than he loved his God. Although God wants us to use our talents that he had given us to make a profit, it is not our primary responsibility. Our primary responsibility is to serve others and benefit others with the business we create. Uh, my mom is probably the best Christian entrepreneur I know. Uh, she helps people buy and sell homes, and she does her job really well. She makes sure that her clients are always benefiting from her work and that she puts herself second to them. She, like, she always gives her clients gifts after they uh, finish a job or she um, sometimes even sacrifices her paycheck so that they can have a good deal or that it'll help them find the best house that they want. And growing up watching this selfless work just makes me want to do the same thing in the future.